Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So I sold a bunch of GAC from our um, storehouse of uh, gear that we had. Um, you know, a bunch of old sensors, a couple of engines, things like that, just to make the financial report. And we got the Bishop back and I put it in storage for now. So we're down to this right now. Um, but let's have a look at the storage because I want to pull forward uh, the Apollo. So let's get that ready. And let's have a look and see what we're dealing with here. Um, oops. I want to see what we've got. Let's refit this guy. Looks like it had a lot of cool stuff on it, but... Oh, range finder can be repaired. Missile range can be repaired. Had ELRMs. Uh, they looks like they're both gone. Bright bloom laser. The XL engine was destroyed. The core was destroyed. Um, so what are we dealing with here? It has composite armor though. I want this guy to be a brawler, I think. So, case two. 80 sight, one gunnery. That's actually quite nice. Like if we get this guy in close, it's going to be nice. So we've got two, four missile hard points in the shoulders, and two, four, six laser hard points with two support hard points, and a fair bit of tonnage to work with. Well, we don't have an engine in right now. Um, just for the sake of argument, let's just see here. We got Klein XL engine. Right? I'm just thinking for cost wise. Wow, 1.5 million. Wow. Yeah, we're going to need some C bills to seriously get this thing up and running. Okay, so. Um, in the interest of moving things forward, let's just go back into storage. We're going to take out the Bishop Urban Mech, uh, and we're going to sell this guy. Oh, if we scrap it, it's the same as selling it, right? 266000 Oh, you can keep the parts or sell them all off. That's interesting. But let's get rid of it. Um, spider. See ya. Uh, that's a fire starter. Um, gladiator. Commando. So I'm going to go through. And I think scrap. Like the fire. Well, the firefly was 30 tons. Mongoose is 25. Let's get rid of this guy. Just sell it. Grinner was 35 tons, but it's going to take a lot to get this thing up and running. So let's just get rid of it. Um, Piranha. Let's just get rid of this guy. Um... Cattle Master parts we can sell. Urban Mac Pirate we can get rid of. Oops, how many do we have? We have two of those. Jenner Clan we'll hang on to. Hollander 2 part we'll hang on to. Hunchback, yes. Jenner R. Um, be ready this guy. confirm that because then we can get rid of it so that's going to be this one the R20 it's got a core a couple of things we can sell all right scrap it and what else do we have here 
Getting, we've got two million C bills right now. Doing really well here. Uh, can we put this guy together? Nope. Not for the Griffin. This guy. R60. So let's do. Where's the R60L? How do I cancel out of this? Escape is not working. That's weird. Sure. R60L, there you are. Way cheaper doing it this way. Okay, and then... Small laser. Looks like everything else is knocked out, pretty much. Let's just have a look and see. Look, yeah, because his arm's missing. Right, yeah. Alright, let's scrap it. Got the core anyway, we can sell that too. So let's scrap this guy. Different ways to make different way to make C bills now. Wasp part, let's just scrap that. Okay, we can't ready that. Clint can't be ready. Nothing else can be ready here. Yeah, okay. So we got 2.4 million. So let's let's work on this Apollo then. Um, Jenner's not back yet. We got one day. Let's um, just get everything repaired on this thing. And let's strip equipment. And max the armor to start with 18 days. Oh, looks like it's not going to be in this episode, but we got to get it going. So let's confirm this. Actually, you know what? It could very well be this episode, though. No, I don't know. By the time it gets up and running. Alright, let's get the rest of this stuff back. Actually, let's go to the command center. See what we got to do here. Contested will is what? Capture base. Against pirates. Destroy a base. Insurgent leader, assassinate. Embassy extraction. Well, I mean, this is against Wolf. We can get some clan gear. Most likely we should be able to do it. What's key personnel? One of five. Assassinate. That's oh, pirate against pirates. Meh. Nah. Powerful mech exporting local government colors. That's a possibility to get something half decent. It's always a roll of the bones whether you're going to get anything good out of that. Same thing with noisy neighbors. Um... Well, let's get our main group back. Okay, and then just make sure. Yeah, we're good to go here. So let's do, uh, where are you here? You got the tag barrage. And the kit fox has got the tag barrage. I like the fact that it's it's like 
adds heat to the enemy. So I think we're going to keep the barrage over the arrow. So let's go with this one. All right, let's just do this. Gundal's out for one turn, that's fine. Could do, he does his own stunts. That's a possibility to get some good gack too. Let's try this one. Full salvage. Clan Wolf's not going to like us anymore, but that, I mean, that's fine. We can get that back without a problem, I think. All right, Urban Mech. Um, okay, we're going to bring the Kid Fox. The Hollander. I think we're going this route. Urban Mech's got what again? Yeah, MRM 10 is a little bit more forgiving, I think, than all the medium lasers. And the Tag Barrage, I think, want to have a better chance to hit. So we'll keep Goofy in there. And actually, before we actually do this, let's do the smart thing. Just to see if we have a chance to give anybody a better skill here. So here. start off with Dallas. Uh, we were waiting for Gunnery, I think, for her. So we're going to go that route. Confirm that. Uh, duck. Oh, you got enough for Gunnery, so let's take the Gunnery. Couple of points ain't gonna hurt nobody. All right, Goofy. Um, what does this give us? Max evasion. He's our scout. Let's go with max evasion on this one for now. Hellion? Oh yeah. There we go. Training complete. Beautiful. Infiltrator. You want guts? Minus five percent heat generation. Well, it might make a big deal in the next in the next mech, right? Or do we wait and go piloting? Let's wait and go piloting. Yeah, I think having the extra evasion is going to be better. Okay, um, let's go get this guy. You want to do your own stunts? That's fine. You can take care of that problem. Take care of that problem once and for all, you know what I'm saying? All right. Duck, duck, goose, let's go. Okay, let's do this. This is going to be tricky, I think. Alright, we got no idea what he's got. got reinforcements there it doesn't look like anybody from behind us so let's find out what he's got Get up here, girl. Uh, why can't you move? Is somebody blocking you? Oh, you better not be stuck on a hill. Commander. I took the jump jets off. Let's just hope that one guy's in the way. That could be real bad. Time to earn our pay. Incubus. I'm receiving you. Quick, isn't it? 
All right. Sure. Wow, the medium laser hit. Nice. Okay, a little bit of damage. I'll take that. That was actually pretty good. Good thing they brought that cargo truck with us. Oh, I really hope I can move. Bombard, eh? A pair of light Goss rifles, that's interesting. I got a feeling I'm stuck on this hill. Yeah. I'm stuck on this friggin' hill. Really? Wow. Well, that could be very bad. Come on. I want to know what this guy is. Hades. Hellhound. Cicada? Yeah, Cicada 2C. How might I help? Of course. Well, if that guy wants to go ahead and fire PPCs. He's going down. Don't know if that applied any heat though. Oh, what do we got here? A Nova, okay. Somebody's got an AMS. Hooray for that. Oh, scout. Commander. This is a really bad mission to be stuck on that hill. Confirm. Oh. Yeah, this guy. Oh, that's the guy we want. Get some damage on him. What's the weight of the Hades? 65 tons, jeez. They got full armor too. Bombard, Hunter Light Support, Cargo Truck, and a Raven. That 
that's going to be an issue, I think. Especially since we can't move. I guess I have to put one jump jet on every single mech now. Huh. Okay, well... I could hit my own guy here. Guess I'll give it to him then. Really? God is so annoying. Well, at least it wasn't a short-range one. Like, if my Jenner was stuck there, we wouldn't be shooting at anybody. Well, at least we had the mortars working on our side this time. Good positioning, man. I can't uh, target one without the other one seeing me. Well, sorry, I can't target the boss without the other one seeing me. Okay. This guy's got a lot of armor. Not so much in the back though. All right. Does have an AMF an AMS though. Beautiful hits. Right here. Mm -hmm. Lock in target. Uh, a little bit of damage, but not much. Yes, Commander. Did I see a side shot? Oh, it's against the other guy. All right, on this guy. Yes, Commander. All 
All right. Beautiful. It's going to take a while to take this guy down, that's for sure. He's got full armor, man. 820. We can get up behind him. It's going to be a different story. I think this Hades, too, is like... It's hard to see how much damage we did to him, but... Fair bit. We can keep behind him. I don't think I don't think the clan PPCs have a uh, uh, minimum range, so it's not like they're not, he's not going to be able to shoot at me. But as long as I max out my evasion, oh, that guy's running. He's got his back. Oh man, we can kill him next turn. Don't shoot at him, guys. Shoot at the other guys. So I think if we can pull down that Nova, because that Hollander is a sitting duck, right? Oh, shit. Oh, did he just cool off? I guess so. Uh, with our um, Hollander a sitting duck, we may have to bail if those four mechs on the left there come within targeting distance. She's going to be a sitting duck. I may have to, as soon as we get that Nova, we got to set up to bail out of here. It's a lot of building damage. Waiting for orders. Let's get a solid green line on him. Although we do have our barrages coming up in a couple turns. And taking the shot. What's the back armor like? 40? Okay, not bad. Not bad. Yes, Commander. As you wish. And same thing. Locked on rear arm. That's a critical hit. Sure is. That should do it, I hope. Beautiful. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Not done yet, eh? Okay. Dallas should be able to finish this up, I think. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. We got a string attached to him. Taking it. Wow. Reporting critical hit. Couldn't do it, eh? Oh, did a bit of damage. Stressed him out. Huh. Let's hope we can pull him down next turn. I was hoping we could do it this turn. If we can pull him down next turn, then we can focus on that Hades. We get him pulled down then these guys should focus on the other guys and maybe we can make a uh, 
a flanking maneuver, hopefully. Those guys back there haven't pushed yet, so... Uh-oh, what are you doing? Reporting. Major armor loss. Yeah. Good thing you're in the trees. Oh, your sensor locked him. Beautiful. You assholes. You just hit me twice? You hit me twice. Are you kidding me? Our target is bugging out. Stop it before it gets oh, it ain't going nowhere. Shot me in the arm and in the tor- oh, Are you kidding me? Minefield on the way. Are you serious? Location confirmed. Okay, please finish him up. Beautiful. Time to exit. Stage left. Good shooting, duck. Who's next, though? Nice. Back shot. Beautiful chances to hit. Taking it. Okay, not bad. Penetrated. Gonna jump so we can avoid the minefield. Ugh, I'm just gonna fire. Wow. No damage detected. What turn is this guy going on? We don't know, do we? I'm listening. It's just reserve. Well, he's stuck in a minefield. We should be able to back up to avoid that. Ah, crap. Oh, shooting at the other guy. Okay, good. I was going to say, if I got killed because of that... Minefield on the way, huh? Well, there isn't much I can do about that, unfortunately. Acknowledge. Well, it doesn't seem like I took any damage. Fire Guard a critical hit. At least we're out of that guy's way now. Oh, beautiful. Uh, we're going to go with Cluster because it's a bad chance to hit. And let's Warlord it. Because why not? Here it comes. I don't believe you're gonna like this. 
Whoa, nice job. Oh, now I'm just tearing you up. You're just tearing him a new one. Well, we got the knockdown. Beautiful. Doesn't help us, though. Sure, why not? Standing by. Copy that. No point in going moving over there and risking ourselves. Just take this guy out while we can. Uh, leave the tag barrage off. I'm just going to go for head hits because why not? On it. It's panicking. Beautiful. Headshots, please. Copy that. Ah. You have orders? I do. Let's go after that juicy skull of his. Firing. Ah. Alright, well, yeah, wasn't as good as I thought it was, but maybe Hellion can uh, get a headshot. Oh, they're moving in now. That's what I just said. Okay, he's panicking. Still panicking. Well, he can't really go anywhere without getting shot in the back, so... Move into there. Let's hopefully finish this guy up. See ya. Okay, don't get too close to them. We are going to need to move up. Make sure you're facing him. Brace. That's all we can really do. I mean, we could sacrifice our left side if we had to. But I'd rather have him spread the damage everywhere. I think the last half of this uh, episode, we'll see if we can get that Apollo up and running. Okay, let's just get ourselves into position to move up. No idea where those guys are back there. Okay. 
doing a little bit of job of keeping herself separated here. What are these guys going to do? That's my question. Yes, Commander. Okay, beautiful. Can avoid the flames. Let's get up here. Confirm. Nothing. All right. Still nothing? Huh. Yeah. Can't see nothing, you can't shoot nothing. Okay. Don't like this at all. I was hoping having at least one of them move in. So we could pull one down at a time, but Looks like it's going to be an all-out brawl. Still nothing. Yes, Commander. Let's get our stability back before we move in. This forest is next here, I think. There was a guy right here. Oh. There he is. Did they retreat and then come back? That's interesting. Huh. I think we I think we've got Osco parts too. Um Okay. Let's get in. We got the barrages. Let's use them. This guy's the most dangerous, so let's target him with the barrage. Bad chance to hit, but we're going to take it anyway. Okay, you did take damage. now. Oh, we can only target the one guy. I thought we could target them both, but doesn't matter. Let's get the barrage on this guy again. That was a really bad miss. Let's close the range. Okay, there's this guy. And firing. Closing the range. Streaks on this guy. Firing. Alright, we've got a few on him. That's fine.
Okay, we got half decent spreading here. Well, maybe the Hollander will. Yeah, I think she'll be able to see somebody now. Nope. Oh, yep. Right here. Bad chances to hit. We're taking it anyway. Yeah, maybe I should have saved that second barrage. But I was really hoping to shut that Hellhound down. He's firing a lot of lasers. Because if we can get him shut down, then it makes it easy to hit him. We can take him out real quick. I thought the Oscar only had like a medium laser in the center, center torso or something. I thought it was really lousy for weaponry. Or maybe it was a large laser in the center torso. I can't remember what it was now. But there is one one more mech back there somewhere. Oh, nice shooting. At least you're not shooting me in the back. It's always good. All right. Infiltrator. He's an infiltrator. Oof. Um. Wow, 11%? I'm definitely in somebody's ECM range. Let's target, let's target this guy. Oh, there's the Beagle Probe. I'm listening. Shoot this guy. Please don't shoot me. A little better chance to hit. And firing. Nice shooting. Good to go. I know it's the other flank, but <sighs> got to spread out. There's the other guy back there. Maybe we can rip this guy apart. Critical hit, Commander. Reporting. Before that other guy gets back, how far can we jump here? Oof, only one hit. Well, at least we got a knockdown on him. Yeah, he's backing up. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Well, at least it was only on two of us. Commander. Ooh, we got a back shot on him, though. This guy's not going to be able to get up. Ah. Let's finish this guy off. Yeah. I mean, he can't do much to us, but with that low chance to hit, and that guy's the health spawn is going to turn around anyway, so the damage to the back is really wasted unless we hit the legs and the arms. But I don't know. Thirty-three percent just wasn't enough for me to want to go for it. See what happens here, though. They are kind of retreating, so. As long as our light Goss rifle guy doesn't shoot us in the back, I think we'll be all right. He 
You guys got fast cam, keep using it. Okay, at least he's not shooting us in the back. All right. Waiting for orders. Better chance to hit if we move from here, but Affirmative. I prefer to uh, stay in the trees, get a little bit more protection. No matter where I go, there's a minefield on the way. Can I not see that cicada anywhere? Engaging jump jets. Oof, really? Okay. I'm here. Location confirmed. It's a little better. Take the shot. Man, our allies lay so many minefields. God, really? Now, yeah, not much else we can do. Not much else we can do. Hit his back. He's got lots of armor. Yeah, these guys are full armored too, so... The problem is we've been playing against a lot of units with, like, lighter armor. He's retreating. Okay, hey, somebody's coming back to fight, though. Ooh! Oh, see ya! Yeah, I know he's on our team, but still. That guy didn't do anything. Well, at least the AMS is burning through a lot of its ammo. Forty percent, huh? Damn it. Yeah. This match would be so much different if we had this mech involved if this uh, Hellion involved in this. If the Hollander could be in here, it would be such a different match. Right. 
Can't move too close. All right, firing on this guy. Oof. Target lock on enemy's rear. Might as well give it a shot. I don't know if they, that's the guy laying the minefields or what, but I don't think it is. I thought it was the vehicle that they they destroyed. Well, Chiquita's coming back to fight. Okay, I think he's laying the minefield. No matter where I go, I'm going to run through a damn minefield. Uh, that's not so bad. I considered using the barrage. I did, guys. <laughs> and I'm like, I think I'm a little too close here. Right here. Mm -hmm. Just a little too close. Okay, we didn't take too much from the mines. Why am I standing on flames all of a sudden? Yes, Commander. Coordinates received. Okay. Not bad. I mean, the AI is not making the smartest of moves in this one. Take what we can get out of this. Ow. Okay, let's do it this way. All right. See if we can do that. All weapons committed. Enemy mech critical damage detected. Okay, got crits on him anyway. What's these guys aren't even shooting anymore really I don't understand what the AI's intention here is this is I think a bad position too because I think if this guy doesn't move out of there we're going to deal with a lot of uh, potential missile hits on us yeah
Yeah. Uh, let's just try and core this guy. Just yeah, shoot him. Target lost on enemy rear. See ya. One left target. Awaiting orders. I understand. Now we can put this on. Yeah, not the best chance to hit, but we'll take it. Oh, we got the tag on him. Beautiful. Sorry you're out of the battle, girl. Yep. Mech is on fire. Leave the three off. Just go with the LRMs. Okay, significant damage. Beautiful. I've almost got this one in the bag. Almost. Anything can happen still, though. Come on, let's do this, guys. This was supposed to be a hit and run. It's sort of a hit and linger now. Yeah, he's the guy dropping the minefields. Which is not really helping out, because it's not doing enough damage to their legs to to contribute at all. Uh, how close is he to everything? Let's hope we don't miss. <laughs> All weapons are go. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. There's a hole in my armor. Wow, everybody took damage from that? That's a little insane. Confirmed. How are we doing though? 50... Still got lots of... I mean, he still got... Well, not this side. <laughs> he's like, he's back and I was like, these guys are crazy, man. I'm out of here. <laughs> I just, I'm not staying around here. This is nuts. Huh. There's nowhere to, oh, I see. Jump into minefield. Jump into minefield. Jump into minefield. And firing. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Nice. Putting up some big numbers. Of 
question is, do I go after this cicada? I don't know. It's got a lot of weapons on him. Well, you're the one who want to be perched on that rock, I'll battle. Maybe not. Involuntary rock perching, I guess. This guy lost his arm, right? Yeah. I think these guys are at a point, it's like they can't really go anywhere without uh, being overheated or taking a lot of damage. All right, firing in this guy's backside. Guard a critical hit. Still alive. Oh man, we're destroying a lot of salvage here. It's because these guys won't play ball. Yes, Commander. Finish him up. Target Thank you. Come on, let's get rid of this guy. Beautiful. Let's go home. Mission successful. All right, contract payment increased by 25%, 133,000. Gonna need that for repairs for sure. Can't believe they shot us in the back. Actually, I can believe they shot us in the back. Um, not very many parts. We do have an Oscout part. Just one, though. Although, really? There is no not taking that, you know? VC long range. Plus two accuracy at long range. Extreme range. Those are kind of cool. Clan cockpits, which give me one gunnery. Enhanced imaging clan, two gunnery and two pilot? Are you serious? Oh, you got to turn it on, though. Modifier one to... Really? Zero percent chance failure on activation. Five percent additional failure chance on consecutive turns. Head receives failure penalty. I see. Still kind of nice. Fire control system heat. Minus five percent weapon. That's actually really cool too. Gonna put that in there for now. What's this? Laser heat generated. Fire control system Nova. Sensor Society? Upper Hardened. Minus 5% damage taken. Cased Actuators. Interesting. Plus, oh, Weapon Mount plus 3. Oh. That's more value than most things right now. I, I, I'm, I'm almost at a point where I want to ditch these. But I know this series, I don't know how long the series is going to go for, so we might as well grab it. That's really going to boost us up in ability to be able to take on higher level missions. Let's confirm this. Alright, Incubus part, Chicada part, Hellhound 2 part, AMS, that's kind of really nice. We got the medium range. Fire control system standard. Oh god, we got garbage. Really? Alright. Well, 30,000. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Alright, let's have a look here. Let's 
bring the heads up. Um, I almost think we lose this guy. Kid Fox we can probably drop out. Um, and maybe the Jenner? Well, let's check it out. Well, we didn't get too much off this guy, did we? Nope, not much at all. ECM, 3 ER medium magna lasers though. 25 damage for heat 19. Those are actually kind of quite nice. Streak ammo. Ugh. It is a clan mech too, so it's going to be way faster to build than... Uh, yeah, let's just confirm this. This will be way faster to get to get up and running than the Apollo, that's for sure. Let's manage our tasks. Um, uh, let's bring the Jenner up because I think we're probably going to pull it out of service. Let's go this route. I mean, we could turn the Apollo into an LRM mech. Change the health spawn around, pull the LRMs out of it. Put the streaks in the health spawn. That's probably a better way to go. Yeah, let's just get the, ah, oh, man. Let's get some of these mechs back here. Oh, I'll just trust Yang to handle the situation. We're losing tech penalty no matter what I think, so. Hooray for that. Alright, one more day. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's do this. Alright. Um, Okay, uh, gotta decide what we're keeping and what we're losing, guys. Definitely keeping this one, right? I don't know, we pulled the Urban and the Kit Fox because of the weight? But this Urban mech is like, actually not that bad. I mean, the other thing is that we do the Apollo as a medium, an MRM build, because we have the MRM 20 and the MRM 10 for an MRM 30 build. And we pull out the Urban Mech and the Kit Fox. We leave this guy, we leave the Jenner as is. But this is an Omni which is way easier to fix than this guy is. Oh, decisions, decisions. And then what do we do with this guy? We make him an energy build? Let's have a look here. I think so, because I mean he's got the plus three heat sinks in the engine, he's a fast mech. 
do like a medium range energy build. We got the ER mediums with the ER magnets in here, which we can put in one of the arms with the uh, yeah, with the um, weapon mounts. Huh. Because we don't have a lot of weight, so... Okay, let's wait till one day. Alright, Kit Fox. Got a lot of clan double heat sinks that we could be using elsewhere. Like the Jenner 2C, if we refit this guy, pull everything off of it, then the Artemis system can go in with uh, the Apollo. Gunnery and the sheath beacon can go into the Hades. Because this guy, yeah, you know what? This guy's like, it's got 280 core as well, right? Um, I mean, we could lower the core on this guy and change him up a bit. 35 tons. Could drop it to a 240 core. You know what? We need the urban mech back. Oops, barracks. Barracks. Not barracks. Mac Bay. Oh, we got my piloting now. Um, so we pull this guy out. Like he's got, he's, I mean. I don't know, we lose a lot if we like go without this guy. But not that much though, really. Honestly. I mean if we drop an XL engine in this thing though. How much weight do we gain? Three and a half tons. Maybe this guy becomes the PPC build? Maybe? That's three, four, five, six, seven and a half tons. It's not enough. Seven and a half, 11 tons. PPC, PPC capacitor. Right. This is how much? One ton? Twenty percent missile range. Increased. That'd be great for the for the streaks. Uh, let's have a look at the Apollo. Hmm.
1.2 million, eh? Wow, 1.2 million, really. Pharaoh, Ando Steel. I mean, we could go with this. Um, requires an ECM to be installed. Now, does that mean like the warfare suite is technically an ECM, right? Um, but this you want up front, I think, wouldn't you? Establishes a central lock on all enemies within 310 radius. That would be good on the Hades. Now is this technically considered an ECM though? Or are those just sensors? Well I'll find out in a second here. Let's drop the Stealth X on and see if that it actually works. No. Oh man. We got the Streak LRM 15 as well, right? I mean, we could put the Streak LRM 15, which is 7 tons, plus the other two LRM 15s, which would be another 7 tons. That's 14 tons. Puts us at 48 and a half. Um. Forty-seven and a half. Lots of LRM ammo. We even got some dead fire ammo we could use, and swarm. Streak LRM for the LRM for the streak LRM. LRM incendiary. This thing could be an LRM forty-five. Or if we go with the MRM. This is seven tons. We'd be an MRM thirty. Boy, this is a tough decision. I gotta pull two guys out. Kind of leaning, oh. kind of leaning towards the the uh, the Jenner and maybe the I don't know the Urban Mech or the Kit Fox. Great thing about the Kit Fox is it's so easy to fix, right? It's fast, but we could use the Clan Double heat sinks elsewhere. The hard points are, we do anything with the hard points on this guy, right? This is a 180 core. Now, I think we had a 180 on the uh, Urban Mech too, didn't we? Because if we did, then the Urban Mech's kind of like mute or moot. We could get rid of the Urby. Yeah, it's a 180. So this really isn't any better with the exception of the cool emergency coolant system. The fact that we don't have to drop an XL engine in here to keep it functioning. 
and we could set up the other mech the same as this one basically ER mediums all right so let's I think I've decided so let's pull the urban mech out confirm that and then let's pull out the Jenner I think overall that's probably the best way to go it's a 280 core okay so we need to outfit these two guys and the kit fox We don't, we're just not going to have enough C bills. Let's go into storage. Um, we're going to have to sell this stuff. Jenner 2C is going to have to go. You know what? We're going to have to keep one mech as a uh, backup, though. Firefly can go. Okay. Got a little bit of funds now. We still have, we still need 991,000 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So we got what 200 about 280,000? No. 275 2.75 million. Um, this guy's going to be the easiest to refit, so let's look at him first. Okay, let's pull the streak ammo out. Let's leave the magnets in, but let's put them in the arm. ECM can stay, but I want it in the head. Double heat sink, let's just put it down here for now. Probably going to need it. Um, weapons, laser, actually let's go to equipment first. And let's grab, uh, I think I want the Warfare Suite in here. Already installed, right, ECM can come out, Warfare Suite can go in. Um, yeah, I need a targeting computer. Gunnery Support A, yes. Range finder triple plus. Let's get that on this guy. I want him to be relatively close. Um, let's max out the armor first so we know what we're dealing with here. Sheath beacon. Oh, we can't put the sheath beacon in. Omnipart lower arm. Right. Uh, for the bonus to hit. And then we want to have our where are you here we go what weapon lower arm actuator oh it doesn't have a lower arm actuator of course it doesn't but that can help um What's the bright balloon laser? Plus 22% to all range brackets. It's also the medium pulses too. 21 heat. These ones are what, 19? I mean, could go that way. And we've got the PPC capacitor. Uh, 
right? Um, three ER Magna lasers and a ER PPC. Damage for this thing will be what, 62? No, 20% damage extra is 60. 60 damage. Now we don't have any AC ammo. just don't have the stuff man could put an arrow on this guy or we could put that on the uh, it would just barely fit on the Apollo just make it really slow put an arrow on there uh, We don't have any AMS ammo though. Tag arrow, tag barrage. Like this could be the big weapon, right? We don't need the ERPPC and the capacitor. Could use a tag arrow, probably here. Then do we have any big weapons? That's the question. We can run with a pair of large lasers. That's still less heat than the one PPC. But if we're going to do that, though... You'd want to put them on this arm. So maybe the tag arrow one of the magnets goes on this arm and then we need heat sinks which we don't have any clan heat sinks Got regular double heat sinks we could just use a regular double heat sink kit though right doesn't matter What are we dealing with here? Well, that's actually not that bad. I mean, it's a full energy build. Fire control system standard. We've got standard clan, right? Isn't that better? Improved. 10% called shot. Go with the improved. Oh, we got the standard clan. I think this one's probably better with the called shot bonus. Yeah. Okay. Then what? What's our heat at? Um, that's not a bad op. I mean, that's short range. Bright bloom laser. 
better range brackets. What are the range brackets for these guys again? 420. I think you put the other magna over here. Put the bright bloom in here. What are we dealing with now? Yeah. And then if we do actually do it this way. Got one ton left. Maybe another heat sink. Something like that. I mean, it's not impressive, but we don't really have a lot to, to spend on this thing, and it's only 80 grand. Let's do it and get it confirmed and get this thing into, into combat. It's really this guy that we got to focus on now. So, um, sorry this is taking so long, guys. It's just it's a really hard uh, choice to make here. Like we could go bigger engine for more movement, but I think this guy wants to, I think we need to make this one a missile mech. So it doesn't need a lot of movement. That's going to kill us right there. But let's see what else we can do here. So weapons. This guy's not going to be a close in boat. This still has to put us within half decent range, which means we need some some kind of speed. Five nine. Okay, let's give him not that. Let's give him the Guardian ECM. Let's give him Clan Endo. Stealth X. So it can stay hidden while it's firing. Now, you know what we do before we do this? We do what we said we were going to do to the, uh, who are you here? The hell spawn. This guy's going to be a close in mech, so we're going to pull off the LRMs. Take these off. Taking these off. Um, we're going to go with the clan ER medium in the arm. We're going to go with the pair of streak SRMs in this torso. And then we want to do I think we need two tons of streak ammo for that. five tons left heat efficiency is really good so let's look at a pair of lasers or something um, we could just put regular mediums on or inner sphere ER mediums causing an issue with heat sinking but we do have Don't have any room for any more double heat sinks though. Or we go that route. That heat's really gonna drop. Uh 
Um, range is 540. This is what, 330? Yeah. And these are what? 420. Uh, let's go to here for a second. Now we've got... Uh, where are you here? We could put a weapon mount on this too and put all the, the big lasers in one arm. Like we could put three medium pulses in one arm with the bonus to hit. That'll give this thing some crazy accuracy. Uh, we want to do the Artemis fire control. I think. Go bonus accuracy at range. I need more life support, do we? No. That's just a regular clan cockpit, right? Let's use the rangefinder cockpit so we can see things better. Um, I think we go with an accuracy build on this guy, honestly. Um, Where is the uh, other medium pulse laser here? There you are. So what's our heat sinking at right now? Still pretty good. Uh, we could put a small pulse in. It's only six heat, damage five times three. I mean, it's a possibility. Or, we can just do this for now. Maintaining the heat. Actually, you know what? No. Uh, I want to do this. That's what I want to do. Got to be able to jump. All right. Um, now we can deal with this guy. So uh, let's start with what we were thinking. Um, so we're going to need put the Guardian ECM in. No, sorry. We wanted, uh, what do we want in this guy? Yeah, Guardian ECM. Right? We wanted to put in Clan Endo. We want to go with Stealth X because we want this guy to be hidden. Right? Uh, armor's already maxed. I don't think it'll take small jump jets. Will it? It will. What do you know? Interesting. Okay, engine. Doesn't need to be that fast. 240 maybe? Then let's get a core or a uh, XL engine, I mean. Drop that in. Okay, cooling. We've got. Uh, Radical Prototype Double Heatsink Kit, which we don't have any Radical Prototype Double Heatsinks for. We'd have to use a Clan Double Heatsink Kit. We've only got one Double Heatsink Extra. Um, does the store have plus one does not tactics support B that's kind of nice um, it's got like nothing here Yeesh. well I think we deal with just what we have we can adjust later I guess 240 core um, weapons, LRMs, two LRM-15s, and a Streak LRM-15. 
Heat efficiency is garbage because we haven't put the uh, double heatsink kit in yet. Let's put this in here. Let's put the clan double heatsink kit in here. How are we doing? Okay, there's our 60. And we need ammo. And we used our case too, didn't we? No, we did not. Beautiful. Really? Okay. Um, I really want to split that ammo up, but don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Okay, there's the streak LRM ammo. Swarm, dead fire. That's plenty of ammo. Um, Zeus LRM. Flat 10% jam chance. Mitigator by gunnery. Increased damage. Increased jam, dam, uh, jam rate, eh? I'm wondering if we just do this. Oh. This is direct fire, right? Ah, oh, man. What if we go, right, I almost think that we should have a secondary weapon, take this down to 60, oh man. That gives us a ton left. I mean, we could just drop LRM ammo in, but we've got an LRM 35. We've got what? 4, 8, 12, 16. This is eight rounds for the streak. I think we've got enough ammo as long as we're not setting ourselves up for long engagements but that's what I mean about having that extra weapon right like an ER medium or something just in case How much does this weigh again? No Two tons, and I can. Another, we don't have room for another LRM anyway. Let's 
screw it putting the tag barrage in because why not I don't know if this is going to be viable viable or not I mean worst case scenario we get another regular heatsink kit we pull out all of the uh, LRMs and you go with lasers and, and tags and stuff and have some support missiles in here worst case scenario I think heat wise we're pretty good all right now let's look for um, better cockpit stuff here so we've got the now this Well, that just actually, yeah, we can actually just use that. Okay. Land cockpit. Let's use that. We want increased missile range. That would come in really handy, I think. What other sensors do we have? Just basic sensors. It might as well. Like increasing these by 20%. 20, 20 is what 120 130 yeah I mean another 130 yeah I think that's it I think we go that route it should be well hidden I mean as long as we had the stealth X on it and it's at a distance it should just be able to rain down fire from I would not get in combat tag barrage I mean that's just if we can get see directly direct fire I should put the Artemis uh, the arrow one in this one in this guy but that's fine all right let's go this route 1.5 let's confirm we're just gonna have enough <laughs> 18 days though all right, this was a long episode, guys. I really apologize. Let's manage our tasks here. So next episode, we will have all of these guys back, and we will be taking on a mission, most likely um, something for uh, Clan Wolf, maybe Insurgent Leader. This is as far as we can go. Deniable destruction, maybe destroy base. I don't know, maybe we can take both these on next time. We'll see how it goes. All right, but I'm going to leave the episode there. If you have any suggestions for the mechs, like I said, I'm kind of limited with, with what I have. But let's look for some more gear next episode. Um, uh, so, yeah, if you liked the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.